Okay, I'm going to show you how to install the open game panel, uh, both the panel and the agent. And the way this works is you have a front end web page, which is the panel, which will allow you to control game servers, install, start, and stop game servers on different computers. So this panel will actually send commands to this game server, this game server, this one, and this one. And um, it's pretty simple. It works very well. You, your game servers here can either be Linux or Windows. And I'm going to install the agent on both. And what I've created here is a little step-by-step uh, -step guide, I hope. Now on the panel, I've had it run successfully on pretty much anything. Um, it runs best on a Linux machine. This one here, I'm using Ubuntu 16.04. And we're going to run the panel, the rsync server, which will help us install files. And that will be covered in a separate um, video. And the MySQL server. The panel needs a MySQL server. And the agent doesn't need MySQL. But some games, such as DayZ, Arma 3, whatever game you're running, if it requires a database, it's going to connect to this database right here. Okay, so I've created a, uh, this is the IP right here, and I've created a, my domain name is irserver.com, I've created a subdomain called Miami for the panel. This is going to be what we install, and this is where we get the uh, files to install. I'm going to use the, if we go back here, um, you can get your Files, uh, let's see, downloads. And like the web right here, this is what I've I've gotten right here, is the the uh, master. I prefer this. The easy installer doesn't give you options. It basically installs with the names and this is this is easier and does exactly what you want. <clears throat> so um, first things first, let's go ahead and connect to our our uh, Linux machine. And so this is Miami. Now the first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> This is a fresh install. It has nothing <clears throat> on it yet. I'm going to copy this and just install this. And I'll pause the uh, recording so it doesn't take too long. <clears throat> the um, Some of the questions like, we'll have to install a uh, MySQL server uh, and password. And we've also got PHP MyAdmin. We'll need some of that. So I just paste this. Whoops. First thing we have to do, since this is a fresh install, is update. apt get update. And this will update all the packages um, that are available. I'm not sure if this is going to work with PHP. I'm not sure if uh, Ubuntu 16 has PHP 7. We might have to change it. Usually PHP is just sufficient. Okay, so I need a uh, password, a root password. You will need this, so do, do not put a password in that you don't know. We're going to adjust it for the Apache 2. And then when PHP my admin um, is installed, it's going to ask us for a password also. I use the same password. I've, I don't know that PHP my admin has ever needed a password. Um, it says it needs it to connect to the database, but we'll see.
So also on this server, I'm going to install the rsync, um, but I'm not going to, I'm going to set up the folders so that we can test it, but I'll show you in another video how to install it. We're going to also have to set up the MySQL server for our panel. And I'm going to create a user, a remote user, that will allow me to connect to this database uh, from the agents, from the game machines. And one other thing, I'm going to close that file right there, the MySQL that configuration. We're going to have to edit that to allow remote connections. All right, this is where we're configuring the PHP My Admin. And this is, uh, I don't know what this is for. I've never been asked for this password. This is how PHP actually connects to the database. And that's it, we're all done. So now let's um, go to our database, CD, etc. Um, SQL and we have to go into conf D I think no it's in a MySQL conf D CD CD MySQL in this folder right here all right, so now we're going to nano MySQL CNF and bind, okay, bind address right here. This, this line, this means that only local connections such as MySQL, uh, the PHP admin can connect to it. So we comment that out so that it will now listen for connections on the other network interfaces so we can connect to this database remotely. And that's all that takes. Uh, we're going to have to restart it probably. So let's see, service, MySQL. Okay, so let's see if we can connect. Okay, that's our web page for and here is our and I created a root user uh, when I installed the MySQL and here's my password and there we go so I'm gonna create a remote account first Add user account, and I'm going to call this remote user, and he's going to be able to connect from any computer, so he needs that right there. So this is so our agents can connect and edit our MySQL database. And I'm going to give it a password. You're going to need this for some scripts later on. So if you use a you can use a random password, but make sure that you save it and uh, know it. So it's better off to put in a password. We're not going to create a database for this account because this one's just going to be allowed to connect. All right, now I need another account. I need one for um, the panel. So we're going to call this one panel, and this one is only connecting from the same computer, right? So 
this is connecting from our game panel. All right, well, let's come back here. I'm on the Linux machine right here where I'm running the panel, the rsync and MySQL. So this is going to be a local connection. So I don't want it to be able to connect from anywhere. And we're going to use the password. Um, And for this one, I am going to create a database called Panel. Okay, and for this global, we don't need global privileges on this one, but she does need all the privileges for this database panel. All right, and that's that. So now the database should be all configured. I have the information. So now I can, let's see, go to, oh, we have, we have not installed the panel. We need to install the panel now. So where's my, right here, I'm gonna copy this as the file. And let's go to my home folder. And I'm going to wget and then paste. Now I'm going to unzip master.zip. It has now unzipped everything and it's ready to go. It's in the um, OGP master website. There it all is. I'm going to move all these files to my web folder. Now I go to the web folder you see I've now I've moved them all right here. Now all these if you do LL and look you'll see root owns all these. A web page needs to be owned by the user www data so we're going to change all the owners um, recursively and if we use a semicolon or a colon and then the name again it changes the user and group now you'll see the website owns everything now now install PHP needs to be um, executable so change mod um, plus X And when you browse to a web page, the first thing that it looks for is the index HTML. That was our default page right here. Um, we don't need this page. We don't want this page to show up. We want the install PHP to show up. So I'm going to remove the index HTML. All right, I think that's it. I think we're ready to go now. So now when I, oh, one other thing before we go further. I told you I'm going to install rsync on this so that we can have the files. And then in our panel, we can also have add-ons such as bots or maps or whatever. So I'm going to create a folder. See, there's no folder called files. I'm going to create a folder called files. And in that fo files folder, I'm going to have my rsync files, my add-ons files, and maybe any other downloads that we may want to link to. Now I'm going to have to change these, um, the ownership again. Now, Let's go. And if I do files, now you'll see I have folders for these files. So I can keep these, these files and they are accessible from anywhere now. So now let's refresh this and now it's going to load, instead of this index HTML, it is going to load this index PHP, which we need to 
install. Okay, select my language, English is selected. Everything is found okay. Hit next. Now I need my database. We're connecting locally, so localhost is good. Um, panel was my username. My password was, I don't remember. The name of the database was panel. And if you run multiple installations, suppose you want to have a backup, you would set this as you know the normal. And the prefix would be for your second installation. Okay. Everything's created. Now I'm going to create a user called admin. And my password is going to be admin, admin, and my email address support at irgamer.com hit next Oop, must be six characters bastards admin password p a s s w r d email support okay now we're we're complete we have to go back here and we want to delete the install PHP so that it can't be installed by a hacker. Now when I go to Miami.com now I can add in All right, now we have no online game servers, um, so we're going to need to add game servers. We, we have to go and create the agent in Linux and Windows so that we can add these. But you'll see everything is running. Um, we'd go to administration and edit our panel settings here. Any other changes that you want to make? And I think we're good to go now.